I'm here in my basement where I'm going to be building my uh, MPCNC, and this is the first um, first episode of the actual building going on. So uh, it, the camera angles on this are going to be tough over the course of this series, so I'll do my best. Um, but um, this is where I'm going to be building it um, on this uh, this heavy desk here. Um, and it's against a wall, which of course makes the camera uh, angles tough. You don't want to be looking at my back, I understand that. Um, this table here is um, sort of my work table for um, staging um, parts and whatever, and um, um, some assembly um, before moving and uh, working on the, um, <clears throat> on the machine itself. So I have all my 3D printed parts here. I have my uh, cut tubes, um, and uh, I shot a little video of cutting the tube, and, um, and some tools here. I have uh, printed out um, all the documentation on, uh, on building this. So um, the size calculator, which tells me all um, the machine footprint and sizes um, and so on. Um, and um, this is the part we're going to be starting with uh, today, and that's assembling the base. Okay, so um, I, I find it easier to, to have this on paper um, and then bring my laptop down here and, uh, and I can make notes on it or whatever. Um, now, um, the first step is to take these leg pieces, or feet, okay, um, and so these are the feet, and, um, and they get screwed down to the, uh, to the base um, back here. Uh, now, um, the, uh, the manual says, you know, use whatever screws are appropriate. Um, I chose uh, MDF. I know a lot of people use uh, the butcher block wood on the top of tool cabinets or whatever. Um, I went with MDF. Um, I painted the MDF with um, chalkboard paint. I knew I wanted it black for the laser, um, so we don't bounce a lot of laser light around. Um, and since it'll get scorched and burnt anyway. Um, but uh, I figured with the chalkboard paint, um, if I wanted to mark up the surface with, uh, with chalk for um, various uh, projects, um, that might be convenient. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Um, anyway, uh, screwing the feet down, screws into MDF. Um, if you've ever assembled, um, you know, IKEA or Foremost furniture, um, like this um, desk that's made out of MDF, um, you know that the screws maybe go in once, okay, and then, you know, you put any stress on them, they tend not to hold terribly well, okay. Um, the MDF is, you know, glued sawdust, essentially it crumbles. Um, so given that these might be um, attached and removed uh, more than once, okay, um, or adjusted and tightened. Um, I didn't think putting screws in um, would be uh, a really good approach. So um, I bought these um, brass screw inserts. So I'm going to drill um, holes into the MDF, put these screw inserts in, and then um, bolts and bolt it down um, to, the, uh, to the table. So um, hopefully that um, will work out well. Um, so um, that's, that's my plan for that. Um, and then the other thing, um, as I was looking at this, and um, to mark the holes, okay, you know, getting a pencil down in here um, and marking that well uh, looked tricky to me because um, it's pretty thick and there's, you know, you're surrounded uh, by the piece. So what I did was um, I uh, sliced, uh, I sliced this and then hacked the G-code, okay, and, um, and hacked out everything above uh, three millimeters. So I got a three millimeter um, foot base, okay. Um, 
that matches perfectly um, that I can use um, as a template um, on the table to, to mark it. So um, I think um, I, I think that'll probably make things easier, and um, and you might want to give that a try on your project. Um, we'll see how it goes um, as I do the assembly. Um, so um, I have my, if I were in my kitchen, I'd say I have my mise en place. Okay, I have everything all set up here. Um, and uh, I picked these up um, yesterday at uh, Dollar Tree um, to uh, put my little parts in so that I don't scatter them all over the, the table here. Um, so I'm going to get started. Like I said, with uh, with my knees and paws. Um, and, uh, so I have bolts. I think that's exactly why I want these. Of course, it helps if you don't have a camera in the way. Bolts. These. one of these that uh, Home Depot had. Um, so uh, let's hope I don't need any more. And that's those. And uh, I also bought some washers to, uh, <coughs> to hold those in place. Um, so next um, I need a drill bit for this. So, um, I'm ready to uh, move um, back here and uh, start the uh, measuring and drilling process. Um, I will do this as a time lapse because um, the instructions, <clears throat> you know, this is, this is the critical, the most critical part of getting the whole thing square and there's a lot of um, very careful measurement to go on. And um, so I want to take my time and, uh, and get this right um, from the beginning, um, and, uh, and then we'll see, uh, we'll see how far we get. 